Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a spring summer shoe collection. So I'm just going to go through all of the shoes I've collected over the years. Some are quite new, some I've had for years, so they'll be quite well worn, well loved. Majority of these are high street. As you know, I'm a big fan of affordable luxury fashion. I've got quite a few dupes as well, so if you love your designer dupes, stick around. But yeah, let's get straight into the video. So the first pair I've picked up are these block heeled sandals. As you can see, they are a very good dupe for the Valentino rock studded sandals. So they've got the second strap like that and then they are in this torpy latte colour I'd say and then they've got gold studs all the way down them which just really helps to glam up an outfit. I love that it's a neutral colour, they go with anything and everything and they were a really good price. They're from a company called Lindsay, I think they are an online shoe brand but I've got quite a few pairs of these as I love them so much. They've lasted actually really really well, I've worn them loads, they're about two years old and the heel has actually survived quite a lot. So that's really really impressive for like I think they're like 35 pound a really great heel as I said I also picked them up in a few other colors the other color I also bought them in are this rose gold color as you can see the heel is quite heavily scratched on both of them um, these are super well loved I think these are probably about four years old now and the toe on them is a tiny bit scuffed but I still really, really love them and I think I might buy another pair exactly like them. They're in this rose gold colour and then they've got gold studs going all the way down the straps. It's like got this caged effect, exactly like the Valentino Rockstud heel. So it's a super, super good dupe if you ask me. Again, they're super, super comfortable, never hurt my feet. I can wear them all night without complaining, so yeah. A great shoe there. The next pair are super similar to the heels from Lindsay but these are from a brand called Ash so they're a little bit more expensive the quality of the shoe is a lot better however they are more like a barely there block heel sandal instead of having like the cage effect but they still have the studs on the strap and on the strap around the ankle as well. So they still give you that Valentino effect. The block heel is a little bit smaller, so even more comfortable. And I find that this is a really, really great everyday shoe in the summer, great for work, really nice on holiday. These are in a cream colour, so again, they go with absolutely everything in my wardrobe. Super, super comfortable. These are a little bit more expensive. I think they're around £100, but they are a classic. I've had these now for about two years, maybe two, three years, um, and they've worn really, really well. There's a few scratches on the heel, but they can be cleaned up quite easily, so... Yeah, another great one. Next are my Castagna wedges. Now I got these last summer in the net a -Porter sale. I think I got them for around like £45, so a proper bargain. Super classic, where you've got the tie ankle strap. Now you do have to tie that super tight, otherwise you do feel like the shoe is just gonna fling off as you walk. I bought these in a pinky color with the straw wedge heel super comfortable but again like i said make sure the strap is done up quite tight around your ankle they are really nice for holiday summer barbecues garden parties so yeah when we're allowed out of lockdown these are a really great investment though as i said i did get them in the sale so keep an eye out i know that these do go in and out of sale so a good one to keep your eye on Next pair I have picked up are these Hermes dupes from June. Now these are really new, I got them only last week, so I've not worn them out yet, but I have been wearing them around the house. So as you can see, they've got this wood block heel, super comfortable. I think it's about, 
think it's like five, six centimeters. So a super wearable everyday heel. And then as you can see, they have the Hermes, I think that's how you say it, correct me if I'm wrong, but they've got that style on the front, which I really, really like. It's in this natural color and it's got quite a bit of texture to it. So it's not leather. So far, they're super comfortable to wear around the house, but I absolutely love a mule for spring, summer. As you'll see if you continue watching, I've got quite a few. I just think they're super elegant, really feminine, and I really love that whole barely there effect. So I think they are really, really nice. I think they were, I think they're around 60 pound and they also had them in other colors. So I will link them down below. Next up, another Hermes dupe, again from June. June are absolutely killing it when it comes to dupes at the moment. They do such great shoes. But actually I got these on ASOS um, only a couple of weeks ago and they were in the sale for 25 pound, supposed to be 85. So again, a proper bargain there but I will link them down below and I know June do them on their actual website. So again, a Hermes dupe, this time a flat sandal, super, super wearable, so comfy, something you can wear all the time, every day, just slip on and go. They are in this white croc effect. I don't know if the croc is coming up on camera, but the croc effect just gives it something a little bit different. Really like them. This is completely random, I promise, but I've just picked up another Hermes dupe. These I got a couple of years ago, so are super well loved. These are again from June, and this time they are in the tan leather. I have worn these to death, as you can see by the heels, but they're worn really, really well. I was actually going to pick up another pair for this year, but I don't think I will. I think I'll wait till next year. These have been in the June collection now for four or five years and have been going really strong. They've got so many great colours. Again, super, super easy to wear. Slip on, out you go. I just love that effect. My mum and dad call them like Jesus sandals, but I love them. So... I'm going to ignore the hate that they're giving over these shoes because I don't know about you, but I really, really like them. Next up, another pair of mules, this time from Zara. These are a couple of years old. They are in a snake print pattern and they are a pointed mule. These are really, really great for that transitional period from spring to summer or winter to spring. Um, especially if it's raining, they cover up your toes, so really, really good. And again, super comfortable, no blisters, which is the main thing when I get new shoes. Snake print has been everywhere for the past couple of seasons, and as you know, it's not going anywhere. So these are a really great ones to pick up, but they're a couple of years old, as I said, but there'll probably be some similar ones that I can link below. Next up are another pair that I haven't actually worn yet. They are these Carvella Nudie Pink flat shoes, a pointed toe. I got these for my birthday um, at the beginning of last month and they were supposed to be for a city break. We were going on to Budapest, but obviously because of lockdown, that didn't happen. So I'm still waiting to be able to wear these, but they're in this really soft leather. Um, so you're definitely not gonna get any blisters. They are in a super natural, easy color, which means it's gonna be super wearable and you're gonna be able to wear them with lots. I love that they are a closed toe. So it often rains here in the UK. So great to be able to have a flat that you can wear if it's raining, but still quite warm. I'd wear these with dresses, jeans, shorts. So you could wear them with all sorts basically. So they're a really good one to have in your collection. They've also got this really nice gold band at the back. So super nice detail. And they just make it feels a little bit more expensive, a little bit more luxurious. I think these came in around maybe seven pound so a little bit more expensive but again really good quality the leather is really soft so really pleased with them next up are another pair of mules these ones are again from asos and i absolutely love these because of the rare detailing i've not seen anywhere else so again they've got a closed toe and they're in this natural textured material and then they've got a band across them with this pearl brooch on them so it's all pearls and then a few they're obviously not diamonds but diamond effect jewels in there for a bit of added glam but super nice detailing really really cute 
super nice with dresses, jeans, and again, because of the neutral colour, they're just going to work with everything. Super easy to slide on and go, and yeah, really, really comfortable. I've been loving wearing these, and I can't wait till lockdown's finished so I can wear them some more. Next up are my shoe of the season of 2019. They are these Michael Kors white mules with a small wooden block heel. Now I got these for my birthday last year and in exactly a year and I have worn them to death. As you can see by the heel, I am looking to repurchase these because I absolutely love them. They went with everything. The small heel meant I could wear them with absolutely everything. I could wear them everywhere. They were super comfortable. Never hurt my feet once. I love the white crisscross effect across the front of the foot and then a little peep toe at the front there. They've then got these really nice MK branding just subtly on the heel which I really really like. I think these are around 130-140 pound maybe even a little bit cheaper. As you can probably see when I hold them up close the front of the toe is quite scuffed and then there's a little bit of scuffing there on the front and because they're white it's not easy to get off but I wore them probably like nearly every day they're just a really great little shoe but speaking of looking for a new pair I actually found this pair in Primark would you believe it earlier this year actually so in this nudie pink color so again the exact same crisscross effect the only difference is the heel so it's a tiny tiny bit smaller and it's transparent which is actually really on trend this year however I don't think they'll last as well they feel obviously they were cheaper I think they were I think they were eight pound so a loads and loads and loads cheaper but for the same kind of effect I'll pop them next to one another for the exact same kind of effect in slightly different colours you've just got the different heel but yeah I thought they were a great bargain they also did have them in white but I thought because I had the Michael Kors ones in white I would get the pinky nude colour next up are these gold sparkly mules from Accessorize but I like to think of them as my Nicholas Kirkwood dupes as I have been lusting after a pair of Nicholas Kirkwood mules for about five six years and I don't know why but I've just never bought myself a pair they come in at about 300 350 pound I think maybe I will think about treating myself but until then I picked up these gold sparkly mules from Accessorize. They have a pointed toe and cover the majority of the front of your foot. Super easy to wear. These have worn quite well. They're a tiny bit scuffed on the toes, but I think that's expected with any shoe like this. From the heels, as you can see, they are really well loved, but as the snake print mules, these are just super easy to wear with jeans, with dresses, because that gold neutral color, they go with anything, but they do have that sparkle in them. So that does just help to glam up an outfit. And I just think they're super elegant. These are also a great transitional shoe from spring to summer or winter to spring in, in between when it's raining but it's quite warm and it's sunny but it's still a little bit cold and it's not quite ready for sandal season because obviously they cover your toes but they're still a flat and they're not covering your entire foot like a boot would. So these are a great option. Next up are these pair of boots that I've had now for about five years, four or five years. And as you can probably straight away tell, they are a Chloe dupe. These are from Office. I think they came in about, I think 65 pound. So quite reasonable for a boot. These are obviously a spring boot. They come in quite short at the ankle. So they're not great with jeans because you can't tuck them in and they don't stay tucked into the boot. So these are more for dresses. I wear them or shorts. They give a really cute cowgirl Western vibe, which is really, really cool. They've got these buckles all down the sides in silver. Um, and then obviously the studs all along the front. 
and around the side there. A really cute little heel, so super easy to wear. This is a really great boot for a festival. Really cute cowgirl vibes, thinking Coachella look, but obviously for like a quarter of the price. So you can get that designer feel super easy with these dupes. This next pair is from And Other Stories, and it was my first shoe purchase from there actually. They are, as you can see, a mule in this tan, soft leather really really nice they are a tiny peep toe so super nice for at the end of summer when you're transitioning from summer to autumn and you're starting to introduce some darker colors into your wardrobe again they've got a really nice black heel so i love the contrast here and yet they just feel really quite autumnal really great if you work in an office as they feel not formal but they are a smarter shoe i really like the heel it's thinner than what i'd usually go for i usually always go for a block heel because i find it easier to walk in whereas these are a little bit slimmer they still have this crisscross effect very similar to my michael kors shoes i think that's what draw me to these and they've lasted really really well super comfortable never had any problems and i find it really easy to walk in mules i think i'm just used to it now when you're wearing really high heels for the first time and you're walking really really weird like you're gonna fall or that kind of thing you just have to remember to walk normal basically and they do the job so these are a really great pair last up are these flat sandals from June now these are a thong sandal so they go in between your toes they are really quite thin so they aren't the best if you're going for a long walk as they are too flat they hurt your feet if that makes sense they have this really nice gold what would you call it it's almost like half of an infinity symbol I'll just show you and then they've got this really nice gold strap which goes all the way around your ankle. Super easy to wear. Again, it's kind of like a barely there shoe effect, which I really like. I feel super feminine. These are just a really simple, easy to wear sandal that go with basically everything. I said that about all my shoes, but it's true, so I'm not gonna lie. These were, I think they came around 25, 28 pound. So really affordable from June on the high street and a really great holiday sandal as well. And there you have it, there is my spring summer shoe collection. I just want to say that that isn't my entire shoe collection. I obviously have a loads more boots and shoes for the winter months and the colder months. But these were just my favourites for spring and summer. Let me know what your favourites were, what did you love, did you hate any? Let me know in the comments below. And I will link all of the shoes down below in the description box. If I can't find them because they are too old and they're not being sold anymore, I'll link some similars for you. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this as well that really really helps me and lets me know what you guys want to see so yeah i'll see you in my next video bye